Hey, it's Taylor with a quick update on the next robot I'm building. Um, so you've seen my previous videos with Rover, and then you've seen the new actuator that I've been posting about. And you'll recognize the couple of actuators um, in the front here. So those have been fitted onto this frame, which I, I think I posted a video of the frame, but now we've added the caster in the rear. So this is a skiing caster. And it works, <clears throat> pardon me, it works really well. Um, so we've got uh, a couple of VESC motor controllers with, uh, you can see the wires here, these are going to the encoders. Um, so if we look underneath, we've got a little encoder board there. Sorry, it's hard for me to hold this. There we go. So there's a little AMS magnetic encoder there, and that goes to the same pinout connector for the vest, because these are just little straight through cables. Uh, I will be trying to make these encoders available on Amazon, um, maybe maybe in a few months. It's not a rush for me, but um, the files are on GitHub now in KiCad format if you want to go fab some. Um, I've got the Raspberry Pi with a camera, and this week one of the things I did with the Raspberry Pi was I brought up um, the YOLO object classification network, actually YOLO V2, um, on the Raspberry Pi with the Melvidius Neural Compute Stick. Um, so that means this robot is now... Um, uh, I haven't run that software in conjunction with the motor control software, so there's a little more work to do, but you know, basically the goal for that is to be able to do person detection. Uh, and a fun little feature is that you'll be able to make it so that the robot can look at the nearest person. Uh, if, if you'd like, which um, again, this is kind of an educational platform. So I'm going out to a university, uh, African Leadership University in Mauritius, uh, the island of Mauritius off, uh, off the uh, uh, east coast of Africa, um, uh, just off uh, beyond Madagascar out there. Um, so it's going to be a really wonderful trip. And I designed this robot uh, for educational purposes so that we can talk about motor control with feedback systems, make servo actuators. We can talk about the control system for the motors that's running in Python on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we can talk about uh, sensor systems and you know using a high-end compute system versus a mid-grade like this one, or even you know just a basic microcontroller for a compute system of a robot. Um, we're going to talk about 3D printing, and these are planetary gearboxes, so we'll talk about that. Um, so this robot is really meant to be an educational platform. Uh, as well as, you know, something that people can use to uh, learn more about neural networks or 3D printing. Um, yeah, and we had a wonderful day at the park today with this robot. So it just really hauls over grass that's even as tall as the robot. You see these big wheels. Um, this caster in the rear really works out. So if the robot's driving around, um, then this will just uh, pivot as needed. So it works out really well. Um, it's also a lot more robust than Rover is, so Rover is still under development and will certainly be getting uh, more work after my trip to Mauritius in March. Um, so in the summertime, Rover is going to get a new frame design that's going to be um, it's going to have real suspension. But I'm co-developing this one because it's much simpler to build and get started. It's a lot cheaper to build and get started. It's way less printing time. Um, these actuators can be totally printed on a $150 printer, which is great. Um, some of these frame pieces you'll need a bigger printer for, but um, I do all of this on a $500 3D printer, and it's a little bit of a hobby to use a printer like that to do this, but um, definitely the $1,000 printers, I'd recommend the Prusa i3 Mark III. Um, those are uh, really the kind of printer that you need. And we've got our Neighborhood Kitty wants to see the robot. So yeah, um, I have a lot of footage from going to the park and that will be coming onto the channel in the next couple of weeks as I have time to edit it. But it was a really successful day. This robot is much easier to work with. And if you want to build your own robot, that's uh, the, this one here, all the design files are licensed Creative Commons CC0, which means you can do anything you want with them. Um, you can go to reboot.love. That's a website, uh, http colon slash slash reboot.love. 
uh, that's where I store all the project logs for my robots. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe. I'm just making robot videos like crazy. Thanks.